Something you probably do know. Progressive can not only offer you a great price when you bundle home and auto, they offer you round-the-clock protection. Something you probably don't know, the average oak tree branch can hold 70 pounds. Something you probably do know, your neighbor is building their kid a treehouse. Something you probably don't know, a falling treehouse would take out your whole fence. Bundle your home and auto with Progressive and get more than a great price. Get round-the-clock protection. Something you know for the things you don't know. Coverage from Progressive Casualty Insurance Company, affiliates, and third-party insurers and subject to policy terms. Bundle discount not available in all states or situations. You're listening to a Count Out Podcast. everybody this is amanda and i'm ashley and this is how to talk to your friend about wrestling the podcast episode 77 i think Ooh, it is watch out everyone jesus i'm still just blown away we have a podcast yeah i know we were just talking about things but we have a podcast we're a year and a half old <laughs> we're walking we're falling down. <laughs> Are we eating solid foods? Probably, right? I don't know. I don't have kids. <laughs> I have cats. We spit water out. <laughs> Shit. We're eating solid foods. <laughs> well, you're eating- trying a lot of new things, and that's what I, babies do. No, nobody knows this, but I'm a picky eater. <laughs> but I tried three, count them, three different hot sauces on the 4th of July. Oh, hell yeah. And I ate a huge piece of watermelon. Yeah, I love that you love watermelon now. Who knew that watermelon? I mean, a lot of people actually knew that watermelon was hot fire, but. I'm uh, going to sneeze. Hang on. Do it. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) The cutest fucking sneeze. Get the fuck out of here. That's how you sneeze? (laughs) 21 years of friendship. I've never heard you sneeze or I seem to have forgotten. Well, it's never like hearing it over. It, it's isolated never- over, you know, the internet. What year are we celebrating this year? Uh, this will be 21. This will be 21. That's right. We're yeah. always a year behind whatever fucking. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ, bitch. 21 oh my years. God, we can drink. We can drink. <laughs> <sighs> Not for and- like. But yeah, yeah, not in real life, but um. I mean, you can drink in real life. I can drink in real life. I shouldn't, but I do. Well, I can. I can also drink in real life, but I make I make decisions that that don't let me drink in real life anymore. Yeah. Um. This week is called "Hey Ashley's been watching too much Chikara." <laughs> so let's talk about it. So. <laughs> Ashley has been watching too much Chikara because we were like shit we don't have a match this week what should we watch and then Ashley gifted me some information that I still can't believe is real <laughs> about firing about fucking the colony oh yeah so I got to tell Amanda a little bit about the colony in Chikara and how in Chikara like I think almost everyone wrestled twice or under two different names and that fun fact, Orange Cassidy used to wear a lucha mask and dress as an ant. I just this this the colony specifically is is the reasoning behind why I got into wrestling. Just the like, silly shit. One hundred percent it's the shilly the the shilly shit for me. <laughs> it's the silly shit for me. Uh, mm-hmm. get your cuss counters ready, everyone. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, cuss counters back. This fucking like the colony, and it's a bunch of fucking ants. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love and it. then I I know that um, I know that you didn't get to see it in this one, but I absolutely adore that his entrance theme is fucking 
like ants marching by Dave Matthews band. <laughs> Let's just take this as far as we possibly can, because why wouldn't you and do that? There was a point, like I'll send you the clip. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have seen it, but there is a clip where uh, their music starts. It's him in um, Soldier. No. Oh God, who, whoever Drew Gulak was. Anyway, it's him and another ant. It's it's Fire Ant and another ant. And um, they're walking out. I think, oh, com, com, no, I don't know what it was. Combat Ant? I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> they're, they're walking out to that song and it starts playing and then someone like hit the pause button by accident. So they just stop <laughs> <laughs> and they wait until the song starts and they go again. Oh my god, this is so good. Well, like, there's like also Los Ice Creams. What? <laughs> yeah, so Los Ice Creams um, were a tag team. I think actually they ended up being a, a trio, but various people were Los Ice Creams and their entrance is the fucking ice cream song. Like the ice cream truck song that you hear on a loop. <laughs> The oh, one that says hello in the middle of it. Oh my god, the one where it like beep beeps and then hello and yeah. then they go, oh my god. Wrestling is beautiful, everyone. If you have friends that don't like wrestling, show them this. Show them this. Maybe they'll like wrestling if they know about this stuff. So my other favorite thing is Los Ice Creams. One of the ice creams was fucking Cesaro. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think it's even better with this stuff when you find out like where these people are now and you look back on their wrestling career and go, you were part of Los Ice Creams. You, yeah. sir, were fire ant at one mm-hmm. point in your career. Yeah, like it's it's so good. It's my favorite thing. And then supposedly Chuck is a part. Okay, so we're doing Chuck Taylor versus fire ant. And I mm-hmm. guess Chuck is a part of something called The Fist. Yeah, so there's been a lot of iterations of it's just fist. Oh, okay, fist. Um, just fist. And so there's been a lot of iterations of fist. This specific one was Chuck Taylor, Icarus, and Johnny Gargano. Fun fact, because well, right. they're best friends in real life. They're right? best friends in real life. Yeah. Well, like they're very, very close. This is so much information. Um. Yeah. Okay. So this was 2011. I'm trying to think back to like 2011, Ashley. I would have, I mean, I love Chuck Taylor. I, I would have been even more in love with Chuck Taylor. Oh, do you see that emo hair? He, was he has fucking emo hair and just looks like a menace. He's very tan in this one, which they do comment on. I didn't realize like he didn't look super tan to me. He just, I, like he doesn't have like the orange tan going on or anything like no but he looks like he had been in the sun for a while and that fucking body jesus <laughs> don't get me wrong chuck taylor's current body is uh is a body uh that i love and adore and am very familiar with but yeah 2011 chucky taylor <laughs> I can tell he's, you don't, so, he's so like awkward though too like I don't know he just felt like so awkward I love him um this is also I, you you get the type ty- you get the Chuck Taylor that used to scream at children I was just gonna say I love how mouthy this Chuck Taylor is holy like, shit this is like mild compared to like he straight up would go up to children and scream in their faces <laughs> because he was trying to scare them there's a whole like youtube compilation that's just called chuck taylor screaming at kids (laughs) okay we're gonna do that next yeah we're just gonna review that and find the funniest fucking chirp so now we need wrestling chirps because they have hockey chirps what is that hockey chirps is just like mic hockey players talking shit on other people oh okay okay fuck what's his goddamn name he was on the Boston Bruins and then he got traded to the Panthers. And I can't, of course, I'm not going to be able to remember his name right now, but he called somebody a milk drinker and it was by far the funniest shit I've heard. 
I like, guess that's kind of like they do that for football. Yes. So like it, it's hockey chirps. You can find it on YouTube and some of like, some of these fucking chirps are so good. Damn. <laughs> it's, it's essentially like Shorzy, but in real life. Okay. It's so good. The uh, football ones are very wholesome and it's that mainly them just like talking about their weekend and then like also, um, <laughs> what video games they're playing. That's really cute. That's fucking okay. So hockey's a little bit more <laughs> rude. Little, hockey is like 100% their shit talking each other. Okay. This one guy went after Pat Maroon, my favorite defenseman. Um, mm-hmm. And I was upset after hearing it because they were like, they have just called it was during, it was during the one and only time we've ever done a stadium series in California, which I feel is like the worst decision ever made. Yeah because your ice was melting and then there was like the whole moth stealing the show <laughs> oh there a moth st- stole the show you, why haven't you showed me this before it's the dumbest thing in the entire you just see like a bunch of hockey players in the ref trying to catch the moth because it's like bouncing around on the ice and they're trying to like catch it and get it off the ice it just won't go away <laughs> that's so funny it's the funniest shit in the entire world. But some dude from, I think it was the Kings versus the Ducks, which we have a huge rivalry, but mm-hmm. somebody like mouthed off to Pat Maroon and they were like, you're a fucking rookie. <laughs> like you couldn't even make it to the big leagues and da, da, like they were just, it was bad. I was upset. <laughs> this is now turned into how to talk to your friend about hockey. Okay. We got to stop. Sorry. Back but, to rest. No, I, I think that could definitely be something that we do later. I used to love <laughs> hockey. I just haven't watched it in a while. You're all of the people that I love are Boston Bruins fans. And it's incredibly upsetting. I've slowly become a Rangers fan. A Rangers fan. That's only because of of fucking uh, Twitter. God. I love that little Mika boy. He's so adorable. (laughs) Anyway. Um, Let's talk about emo Chuck Taylor. Yeah. Emo Chuck Taylor. So... Chuck Taylor versus Fire Ant. Um, I guess Chuck had a match earlier in the day. Yeah, because the Chikara, what I think what this was, um, was the start of tournament of trios or something. I can't remember what it's called. King of Trios. I I believe this is like the start of Chikara's like tournament season. Oh, okay. Chikara goes in seasons. Oh, it's not just like free form the whole year. I want to preface this whole episode by also saying neither Omeda doesn't know what happened, but like, I don't really like support what happened with Chikara at all. Now you're going to just what happened. I just enjoy the wrestling and all my favorites have come out of Chikara. So I went back and watched it. It was just, you know, people who run businesses being shitheads and gross and, you know, that's the Quackenbush thing I told you and then you laughed at his name. Quackenbush. Like anyway, I'm- the dude's fucking a nerd and he like tries to sell NFTs to people and stuff now. But anyway, um Chikara is like amazing wrestling. The it's wrestling so good. fun. That's it's so totally fun. Good. Um yeah so Chuck had had wrestled a match earlier. Um, this is also proving my point that best friends should wrestle each other always because you're going to put on a fucking fantastic show. So then is it safe to say that I know who Fire Ant is? Every, pretty much everyone knows who Fire Ant is. You can say is it. Is Fire Ant Orange Cassidy? Fire Ant is Orange Cassidy. He looks so buff as Fire Ant. He's, he's still very buff. He is. He is. I just like, I guess his little like jean leggings take away from the buffness or something or like because you can't see his face, you're just hev- like heavily fixated on his upper body. Well, also he's got those funny armband things on too. And he's in like a tank top. Not a tank top, but like a, you no, know, he doesn't have sleeves. It's a tank top. Are we trying, wait, are we talking about Fire Ant? Yeah. And his outfit. He had a tank top on? Well, he doesn't have sleeves. Oh. What the hell? Did I miss him having a shirt on? Yeah. he. I thought Fire Ant didn't have a shirt on. 
No, he's got a whole outfit. What the fuck is going? I was so taken aback by Chuck Taylor. I completely <laughs> fucking didn't notice that, that he had a shirt on. Good Lord, Amanda. Let me just fucking play this really quick. <laughs> so I can get you a little screenshot of this man with his here. Does he it's, take it off at some point? No. Like, I swear to God, Fire Ant ended up without a shirt on also. No. I'm losing my mind. Oh my God. He does have a whole thing on. Yeah. All I saw was arms. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, it's easy to do. Arms and then fucking... Chuck Taylor. <laughs> arms and then Chuck Taylor. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I'm it's easy ter- to do. Terrible fan. Okay. So, Fire Ant equals Chuck Taylor. No. My... Fire Ant equals Orange Cassidy. Sorry. Fire Ant. Look at... I'm losing my fucking mind. This match was legitimately 10 minutes long, and I have no idea what I saw because it was all focused on chunky t um a hair so we had another match yeah and then we were unsure if he was going to make it um which which is this god i hate having to ask is this kayfabe or is this real <laughs> no i think that they were joking around um but i do love that Chuck Taylor walks into the venue and just is pummeled by Fire Ant immediately. Yeah, like, like it kicks off immediately. And then like, like right after just getting fucking taken, he gets screamed at by two 12-year-olds. I was like, who are these little girls screaming at him like that? Like you are going to get smacked. They hated him. They like fucking <laughs> hated him. Let me tell you, as a person that has worked with with this age group for six years now, middle school kids are fucking brutal. Yeah. Brutal. And the hatred, the hatred coming off of these little girls is so real. It's not even funny. Even though there's a girl who's wearing a free hugs shirt. She does not want a hug from Chuck Taylor. I'll tell you that. He He takes his shirt off and throws it at them. And then like she's holding it or something, which I would have just. She catches it and then she hands it to her friend, Mm -hmm. but then inevitably it like ends up on a chair or something. Yeah. And so he came back and he's like, I'm taking that back. (laughs) Like, but I'm like, do you know what gold you held in your hands? Do you know what I would do for a fucking like that era Chuck Taylor or Fire Ant shirt? I would do so much. Like little girls, come on. Yeah. Um, they were screaming back at him. It was, it was kind of funny because at least he can hold his own. And it seems really fun, like the atmosphere of it. But there was just a, a I'm just so not like wrestling fans that heckle to this degree scare me. They were they were getting a, a little aggressive. You're right. Like, heckling sure, like. We flip off Tony Deppin. I don't know if we flip him off anymore. We'll find out this weekend. Um, I have yeah. to imagine we're, we're now part of the cheering section. We were <laughs> last time we saw him. <laughs> yeah. So, but like, pri- okay, so he's a bad example because we're team Deppin now, but Cardona. Okay. Yeah. Always going to flip like, off Matt Cardona. Always going to tell, like, always going to flip him off when he comes out. Definitely screaming some fuck yous. Um, but like, I don't make personal attacks on anyone. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I've made a personal attack on anyone. I mean, I believe Alex Shelley could hold you in. To a personal of... attack? That was a very loud compliment. True, true. <laughs> but maybe, maybe, I mean, maybe he did feel attacked. So. <laughs> attacked with love. No. Um... It was, it was meant as a compliment. Uh, yeah. I just, I could never imagine personally attacking anyone that's a wrestler. One, you could kick my ass. And two, that's your character. So, mm, yeah. It's just a lot. Not the person. But (laughs) like I said, like at this point, it was his like whole shtick just to scream at children. So I wonder if they're like, we're going to scream back so that he doesn't scream at us. Maybe. This was a very um, outspoken Chuck that I am not used to seeing. Like, he was just 
all over that ring talking shit. And you missed too, like, because this is a little bit later than the Chikara I've been watching. This man used to scream so loud anytime he like got thrown around or thrown on the mat or whatever. He used to like blood curdling scream. Interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. It's very similar. well. Um, hmm. but fucking okay, we need to talk about <sighs> Orange Cassidy is an amazing wrestler. Fireant is an insane wrestler. <laughs> and they're the same person. <laughs> <laughs> I just cannot with the fire ant thing. Like they have a colony and everything. <laughs> I'm dead. Um yeah, like we start out of the gate with Fire Ant running and jumping out of the ring to pummel Chuck Taylor. And then it just kind of, they just like, they say fuck the ring for a whole good five minutes and just wrestle around the gym. Yeah, they're also in a school gym. Yes, they are in a school gym, which is phenomenal. Yeah. Um, also, since Chuck Taylor arrived late and didn't receive an entrance with his theme music, I love that like at some point he just goes, ha ha ha, Chuck Taylor, everybody. I was dead. I was yeah. so dead. Like, God, Chuck Taylor's great. I think we underestimate Chuck Taylor as a society. I mean, I think I'm the number one advocate in the Chuck Taylor fan group. But, 100%. Uh, you are. I mean, I, man- I, I manifested what happened last week. So. You did. No, I'm just kidding. But um, he's severely underrated as a wrestler and you can call him like a gimmick wrestler or whatever but his moves also like his whole move set is so good and he's he's just fantastic like awful waffle is my favorite finisher yes it's called awful waffle um <laughs> but it's beautiful he does it so well i love awful waffle i love soul food i love like i love the name these yeah he so has good. great names um i don't think he's a gimmick i still don't think he's a gimmick wrestler i don't either he's yeah he's silly yeah he does silly things but i need that in my wrestling like it can't all be fucking you know 30 minute technical matches where people are just rolling around on the floor Daniel Bryanson, Brian Danielson, whatever his fucking name. <laughs> Daniel <is>. Bryanson. <laughs> <laughs> also, speaking of D. Bry, they talk in this at length about yes. how how Chuck pinned Daniel Bryan. <laughs> They're like, look at my boy, just taking out the big boys. Like, take him out. Can we get that match? Can we get can we get the now Chuck Taylor versus the now what is his fucking name? Brian Danielson. Thank you. I'm not gonna remember. I'm gonna ask you 20 times. Can we get that match now? That would be cute. Yeah, I'd lo- I'd love it. Well, I mean, he he's he's wrestled with everyone. He's wrestled with so many people. Like if you look at his cage match page, like it goes on for like, I don't know. 10 or 12 or 14 pages of matches that he's had. One well, Chuck Taylor's a good wrestler. Like, all of the evidence is here. He's been wrestling since he was like 17 or something. Oh my God. He's a little Nick Wayne. Yeah. Crazy. Okay. So, hold on. I'm going through my notes. Oh. Okay, so another favorite part of this was when Chuck was telling people to move out of the fucking way, which if a wrestler is telling you to move, please get up and move. Just do that. You can leave the chairs. They're not worried about those. They'll use them. This Um, match is 11 years old, so. No. Okay, so Chuck is telling everybody to get out of the way, and then somebody must have sassed him, and I didn't hear it, but uh, he goes, I'm going to throw a fire ant at you. That's hilarious. Yeah, he had so many good little fucking chirps throughout this entire match. It was so good. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, Chuck Taylor takes his shirt off, which I've never seen. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to take a moment. Everybody take a moment for Chuck Taylor taking his shirt off. A moment of silence. I have a signed picture of him with no shirt on. Well, because now he wears the little thing like Eddie Kingston wears. It's like a singlet. Yeah. So 
he when he took his shirt off i visibly was like visibly i audibly was like oh shit he's taking his shirt off <laughs> yeah he <laughs> doesn't that he doesn't that's do not that. what he, yeah that's not what he does anymore which is uh, fine it's okay like as you know we're not here to body shame no absolutely not we I love like, and adore all body types here. we like body types here all of them give me big boys um, give me twiglets give me <laughs> give me it all um at some point chuck picks up fire ant and just like throws him like you know when you're a kid in a pool and your dad throws you into the other side of the pool yeah that's what chuck did to fire ant into the turnbuckle it was fucking insane yeah it was nuts um but you know i said it earlier but I think when you wrestle with your best friend, you're like, I'm going to just beat the shit out of you and you can beat the shit out of me and this could be fun. Well, because I feel like you guys know your limitations. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know and you're you comfortable with each other and you trust each other. Yes. Trust is a big one here. Yes. Yeah. We love a trusting relationship. We do. Um, um, at one point, Chuck went in for a suplex and then Fire Ant reversed it and did a stunner on him, which is adorable. Um, fucking uno reverse card down for that one yeah i think that what's so funny to me is like i'm not okay so in my chikara watching thing i'm not even at this season yet like i'm almost there but i just want to do a fire ant and chuck taylor one and i didn't want to do their first match together so um this one was fun but i would say that I don't know if Fire Ant's move was always called Beach Break because it's also now called Beach Break when he's Orange Cassidy. Interesting. So. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like they would have more of an anterior name for whatever his move is. I think that he does. But then I can't remember what his fucking move set is. That's fine. Um, what the hell was I gonna talk about next? Oh, um, okay. So as much as I love an arm drag, I also love when you guys are kicking the shit out of each other back and forth, taking turns, and then you both kick at the same time and you all fall down. Oh yeah, yes, absolutely. That's big fun in my book, also. So we had some very fun kicking matches back and forth, and then. Oh no, we're kicking at the same time. Boom, we both fall. Yeah, the, it's <laughs> it's very adorable. It, I love I love a fucking uh, I don't know. I can't even I can't even think of words right now. I'm a sucker for some easy ass moves. You don't have to do much to impress me. <laughs> yeah. Um, that roll up was fucking crazy he grabbed him like right by the booty too well and like it was totally okay so i don't even know exactly how it started i feel like chuck was off the rope slams into fire ant they go boom chuck was setting something up and then fire ant flipped it reversed it uno card down again yeah and just fucking got him yeah just fucking got him just took him out um trying to remember i have my notes in my email uh oh we forgot the part where he then took the little girl's camera and was taking pictures of himself i must have missed that which i don't know how i missed that because i did watch the match he steals the camera at some point and he takes a picture of the little girl and then he turns and takes a picture of himself and then gives it back to her this is amazing. Um, yeah. And then, then I think that's when Fire Ant was like throwing him back in the ring. But All right. All I think right. the, the sole purpose is like of this is just it's a lot of back and forth. It's a lot of like wrestling with your pal. Um he keeps saying how he's gonna kill the ant, and which is <laughs> fucking adorable. Um it's just a fun match. It's very short. It is. It is. And but I'm okay uh, with that. I'm trying to remember who the who the fucking 
guy would be who uh, sorry the announce the announcers would be i want to say one is excalibur i don't know who the other one is oh shit because excalibur was a big actually excalibur also used to wrestle i mean i was hoping that that would be the case although i don't know if i knew that yeah i mean we'll i'm gonna make amanda watch uh what is this chuck taylor's funniest moments ever <laughs> <That's> um- <laughs> I so, will get her reaction to that at some point but um yeah if you if you can all of I think not all of but the majority of Chikara is on IWTV um, oh, okay and just like people who are listening to like if you if you can go back and watch it it's some of like the best wrestling but also fucking goofy as hell and it really made me happy I know like once again, like I know like shit went south with Shakara, but it's so crazy to me to see the amount of people that were in that. And I have I didn't really, really watch it until like a couple months ago. I had seen an episode here and there and I'd seen matches uh-huh. from Chikara. I knew there was people in Chikara, but the amount of fucking people that came out of that wrestling promotion is absolutely insane. It sounds like it. Like you don't like Orange Cassidy, Chuck Taylor, and Cesaro were a few names that were dropped, and it's just like, what the fuck? Okay. Eddie Kingston was Cesaro's tag partner. Oh my god, Eddie Kingston. And then they fought for, like, ever. Um, Oh. Let me see if I can pull up some people. Uh, Johnny Gargano, Drew Gulag, um, fucking... This was... Chikara was fucking... um, Okada's like i think first american matches oh shit and he's like a baby in it a little little tiny baby yeah cm punk was in it um the bucks were in it zack saber jr yeah even even like there's i believe there's an alex shelley match what yeah cole cabana was in it um there it's it's uh, Brody Lee. Oh, that's right. You just sent me that picture. Yeah, Brody Lee was in there. Um, Moxley was like a I child. Kyle O'Reilly. Let me see if I can find the. Um, I have a picture of Moxley when he was in it, and he was so small. But basically, like everybody was in this. Yeah, and like it was really good and people i don't think realize that yeah while it's yes it's silly it's very good well silly doesn't mean your wrestling is gonna suck john moxley looks like my high school boyfriend he does he's such a tiny baby and then this look at baby okada oh my gosh he's so little i know that's insane. Ricochet? Ricochet looks like a fucking dork? Look at Ricochet. I've seen pictures of Ricochet prior to AEW and I'm like, what? He's this in WWE. Not- Sorry, WWE. My apologies. My apologies. Oh, Chris Hero was in fucking which people know as Cassius Ono or whatever. Anyway, I can keep going on and on forever. Um, the, so the, basically- point, the point is like, hey, if you're bored at home and you want to watch some old wrestling, Please just tune into Chikara. Go back. Kevin Steen was in it, like who's now fucking Kevin Owens. And it's just so good. It's just so good and so fun. And just, yeah. Ruby Soho was in it. Okay, so everybody needs to watch it. The end. That's the moral of the story. If you like wrestling, go check this out. Yeah. And it's okay to have a fun, good time with wrestling. You don't have to take it so seriously all the time. I mean, it gets boring when it's so serious. Exactly. I feel like the Joker. Why so serious? Just watch some ice creams wrestle some some fucking ants. That's a perfect match. Hey, perfect match. ice cream sticky. Ants love sticky sweet stuff. Perfect. I am dead. I am dead. <laughs> This was probably the best, best fucking way to get people to watch ice cream and ants. Yes. How can you not? And then tell me your favorite member of the colony. And 
Mine is called fucking what's his name? Urban Assault Ant? Urban Assault Ant. Chuck Taylor was an ant and he was uh, I think he was Urban Assault Ant. This is amazing. We're going to be watching more ant matches I think in the future. Yeah. Um, Because it's amazing. All right. So that's it. 10 out of 10 would bang both of them. (laughs) Oh yeah. God, we haven't done 10 out of 10 in a minute again. Yeah, Yeah, we keep not doing it. (laughs) Both. There is, there is, like, they're both winners here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's it. Watch Chikara. It's fun. Yeah, this was a quick episode just because, like, hey, we're gonna have a wrestling weekend this weekend. Yeah, Um, we have another wild wrestle weekend. Yeah. We're going to GCW... Blood on, on the Hills on Friday. And then Saturday we'll be at VXS Coast to Coast. Yeah. That sounds like Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Hell but, yeah. But, uh, but it's not. There has not been very many things announced for No Signal. Oh, it's No Signal in the Hills. Oops. What did I put? Blood on the Hills? Yeah, we keep calling it that. My bad. Sorry. No Signal in the Hills. There is not a ton of match uh, announcements. Yeah. And also they just signed one and then the the graphics not the same for the thing that they said was gonna be there. Like the picture is of Starboy Starboy Charlie and Nick Wayne. Yeah. And this says Blake Christian and Starboy Charlie. So gcw what's going on <laughs> they did post it a minute ago so maybe they need to fix it but um, they need to catch that. or things have changed who knows it'll be fun i'm excited we have seats for gcw this time oh shit we got seats yeah we have chairs oh my fuck this is gonna be a whole new experience yeah it'll okay absolutely Big. insane as always if you see us come say hi um probably have stickers i was gonna say hopefully we remember to put stickers in our fanny packs (laughs) um but if not come say hi get a selfie with us um and then this will be our first time at vxs so i'm excited to check that out and oh yeah they announced a match that i didn't know i needed in my life so i'm excited to see that yeah we'll see if amanda makes it through uh Rob shit versus Justice. Matthew Justice. Yeah. I might die. I might die. We'll see. Ghost Amanda. Ghost Amanda may come into effect. Um, so yeah, that's it. We're gonna just, you know, take it easy and prepare for another weekend full of wrestling. Because yeah. why wouldn't we? Because uh, we do this once a month now, apparently. I guess <laughs> we don't have our August show booked, but we definitely have our September one. Yeah, September is our anniversary show. Yeah, and it's uh, gonna be insane. Oh yeah, like already the announcements are out of fucking control. Prestige is absolutely crazy, but we love them anyway. Um, yeah. Okay, so there's still shirts available on how to talk to your friend about wrestling. Dot Sorry. No, you're good. Scratching then- my nose. <laughs> I looked away for a second. Sorry. Um, and then you can fucking Twitter us at HTTW pod. You can tell I'm amazing on Twitter. Um, <laughs> or there's the solid Instagram at how to talk wrestling pod. Why do I always forget that one? You, Cause you hate Instagram. That's true. <laughs> Cause for wrestling, it seems to be mostly Twitter. Whereas I am fully functional on instagram and a fucking noob on twitter (laughs) yeah so we're you know we're all working and growing and it'll happen when it happens figure it out let's figure it out all right so until then hydrate be nice to people um don't body shame people either don't body shame and i still suggest that if you know somebody with a uterus you fucking send them five dollars yeah get on it. it it's still hard out here in the streets yeah we're still trying to survive yeah every day every day i suffer (laughs) (laughs) 
so yeah um that's it we'll see you guys friday and saturday hopefully if not you'll hear us next week yeah you will all right bye. bye this has been a count out podcast You're right! There's buried treasure here! How did you know? There always be treasure in the independent waters, matey. Why don't more people come here for their hunt for treasure, Captain? It'd be a hard one to find, but if you want to make it easier to find, tune into independent waters on the Count Out Network. Every Wednesday with your hosts, me, Zach Batista. And me, Mikey Manfredi. As we take you through the independent wrestling scene and find the treasure buried beneath the surface. Whether you're new to indie wrestling or have been watching for years, this show is for you. That's Independent Waters every Wednesday on the Count Out Network. See you there, landlubbers.